Thank you. Uh, my talk will be on the biological control of pendant fruit weevils using endomatopathogenic fungi and nematodes. Now, the pendant fruit weevil cause damage on grapes, apples, and uh, and pear farms in, in, in the Western Cape. Uh, the adults we will normally feed on the leaves, uh, stems, and the fruits. Now, the, the feeding will result in the uh, in un unmarketable fruits, dropping of fruits, and uh, some of the weevils will be packed with the fruits. Hence, they become a phytosanitary problem. Uh, now, the study had uh, four objectives which were to survey for the presence of EPNs and EPFs that can be used to control the bended fruit weevils in the Western Cape. The second objective was to select the best EPN and the best EPF that can be used to control the bended fruit weevil. And then the last objective was to combine the two and look for the mortality uh, or the effect of using both uh, uh, entomopathogens. Now, for the first chapter, a total of 70 soil, soils, soil samples were collected and baited with the mill, millworms to, to, to isolate the entomopathogens. And then the EPNs and then the EPFs that were uh, uh, that we got from the soil samples, they were identified and then evaluated for their potential to control the bended fruit weaving. For the second chapter, uh, the different EPN species that we have in the lab were also evaluated for their virulence against the bended fruit weaving. For the third chapter, the EPF, EPF isolates were also tested for their virulence against uh, uh, bended fruit weevils. We use commercial EPFs that are currently available in, 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 the, in the market. Uh, for the fourth chapter, then we, we, the EPFs were either applied alone or in simultaneous combination with uh, Stenonema halamense one or after, uh, uh, after, after two weeks after application. Even the nematodes were applied alone. Uh, in this first chapter, we got two endomopathogens, I mean two EPNs, which were uh, Bacteriophora and Safricana. We also got Puvera bassiana and Metarizium complex. Now, when we tested, we found that Bacteriophora and Metarizium isolates were, 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 were quite virulent against the adult bended fruit weevil. In the second chapter, we also found that Yechalamensa was six times uh, more potent as compared to Neonopatensis that was used. And we also found that Halamense can give up to 94% control in the field when, when we tested in the field at even lower, lower, lower concentration. Now in the third chapter, where we use broadband eco BB meta 69 and the one also that we got from the field, we found that all of them could control the bended fruit weevil while broadband performed quite well as compared to the others. In the, in the fourth ch chapter, we also found that there was a synergistic uh, interaction, more especially when the EPF and Stenonema Ihalamense were applied one uh, and two weeks after, after the application of the EPF. And additive interaction was only found when the EPF and Ihalamense were combined simultaneously. Now, in, in a conclusion, one can say that it could be uh, of paramount importance to try and do this in the field and, and try to incorporate with the uh, IPM control strategy that is currently being used in the Western Cape. And both EPNs showed a potential and they were outstanding to control the bended fruit weaving. Thank you so much.